Oh Try our luck on another track out. <laughs> this is like, this is really tough. Really tough. Why is it so hard? I'm sick and tired, but here's what it is, so. Not being able to physically ride out of this site is not how I expected our day would go when we decided to sneak in a cheeky little hike to a nearby volcano before having to ride a fair distance to our next campsite. Had a pretty chill night last night because I'm still not feeling great, <laughs> but uh, I decided to get up a little early and do this hike and into the volcano. And this is the start of the trailhead. Excuse the shakiness in this clip. It's just this one and it feels a bit <laughs> foreboding. Isn't that fantastic? It should only be about uh, an hour and a half loop and not too like, strenuous though. So, um, it's a really nice day. About 20 past nine. <sighs> what a view from this restaurant. We're like 10 minutes into the hike. <laughs> this is a view. This is actually pretty insane. Oh, these spider webs are crazy. Finishing the hike off with a walk along the beach. Technically, still part of the hike. Yes, yeah, still feel a bit sick, but it was well, well worth it. So, we walked along the beach back to the restaurant and our campsite, and we headed off in a different direction than what we came in because we didn't want to get stuck again and fall off like we did yesterday. That is the way we fell down last time. Yeah, you're gonna have to get off the door. <laughs> it might even be, it might even be better just sticking to uh, the grass. Why is it so hard? Maybe we were better at the other one down there. So yeah, we're trying to avoid. <laughs> um, Falling, getting the same, the same way we took in, and it's recommended to take like a higher route. But I don't know. I think we took the wrong one. So try our luck on another trek out. <laughs> this is the situation. <laughs> so I'm gonna wait up here. Max is gonna try and get the bike up here 
with the luggage on. If you can't, we'll have to take the luggage on and off and we'll take the luggage off and trek it up the hill because it is pretty sand's pretty kind of deep and like it gets pretty sketchy especially up this bit we were on the other side last time which is kind of worse but neither of these tracks are actually really any better so yeah hopefully you can do this And there to see these guys on bikes. Oh shit. Guys on bikes coming up. Then shut them down. So just finishing hiking some stuff up to kind of the top flat bit. Um I mean weight of the bike. And these are getting uh, I don't know, it's just funny. Because these like bike cyclists coming behind us so I'm just gonna have to wait for them to get up and go back start with a run-up kind of thing so I'm gonna take a little longer than what is ideal I guess <sighs> I'm sick and tired it's on this hike Max side to us this hike and it's kind of the last thing I think that I'm going to be doing right now. Ugh. But, here's what it is, so i got to figure it out. But got all of the stuff up here. Wait for the cyclist to come, get out of the way. And then Mac will try his best to get the bike up this road. This is like, this is really tough, really tough for him to ride up, super sandy, super deep, like, yeah. <laughs> Easy to think that all of this happened before we'd even started our ride to the next campsite and before I met the cutest puppies ever. up on some beers and some food. It's quesabiria. Oh, ho, ho, yeah. No, my dirty fingernails. Real motorcycle traveler now. Look at the freaking container of pork crackling. Okay, now these are dressed and ready. Oh, guys. Even watching this, my heart just melts. If I had Mo with me, I think they would have come with me. 
my gosh. They do. Look at the ribs on the little guy. Look at the ribs on him. Yeah, but I've seen way worse. Yeah. Oh my god, you are too freaking cute. Gave him the carne back. The mum left it all for the puppies and just licked the wrapper. It's so hard not to leave them without anything. But we had to get going. Yeah. Oh. Good push, baby. That was like a solid 110 kilometer push without a break. Uh, you just you figure out where you think the best place to put up the tent is. Over here. Uh, yeah. Right here. Melted. <gasps> oh my god, what the fuck? They're still gonna work. Your poor lights got all melted. And what else? Just this. That thing. Yeah, that is hot. I mean, that was sitting up like... Uh, yeah, I don't know how it happened. Everything. <laughs> losing everything. Everything's breaking. Maybe. Barely usable. Oh. You just have to get a new one. Yeah. Uh. So Melted. Well, I did this one without melting anything, but shit. This rock. Kids, look at that. So after that mammoth day, we set up camp and just relaxed around the fire under a giant cactus alternating between the good seat and the bad seat and if you think that was an adventure today make sure you subscribe and the lights still worked